Hello, my name is Dr. Bill Cleveland. I'm superintendent of Homewood City Schools. And I'm Dr. Patrick Chapel, Director of Instructional Support for Homewood Schools. We would like to share with you an exciting new approach we are using to support our students called Safe and Healthy Homewood. While we've always provided strong academic supports for students, we like to think of this new approach as addressing the needs of the whole child, behaviorally, emotionally, and socially, in addition to academically. In this video, you'll see ways we've implemented the Safe and Healthy Homewood model at all of our schools to empower all of our students to maximize their unique potential. My name is Robin Ennis and I'm an associate professor at UAB. Homewood City Schools partnered with UAB to develop unique frameworks to support the needs of students at each school. As a part of this process, schools provide Tier 1 supports for all students, Tier 2 supports for students who need targeted interventions, and Tier 3 interventions for students who need individualized supports. As a part of this process, schools use systematic screening procedures to make sure that each student receives the appropriate level of support that they need. As a part of the Tier 1 or universal supports for each school, each school has clear school-wide expectations and procedures for teaching, reinforcing, and monitoring those expectations. I'm John Lowry, Principal of Shades Cahaba Elementary. And I'm Wendy Story, the Assistant Principal. This is our first year implementing the Safe and Healthy Homewood model within our school, and we've been very pleased with the changes we have seen both in our students and our faculty. We had a team of teachers attend multi-day professional development trainings, learning how to address the needs of the whole child. We are moving beyond solely looking at a student's academic achievements, and now we are taking into account their social and behavioral needs as well. Using all these pieces, we can better develop a targeted learning path for each student. Each school, including Shades Cahaba, has developed a common set of expectations that drive our daily conversations and create a common language across all students and staff. One way we are reinforcing this among our students is through the use of character cards. Parents are also encouraged to use the same language at home with their kids. This year, we have seen a definite increase in the positivity of our students and teachers. This has contributed to a greater overall positive school climate. The tiered model of support has allowed teachers to better address their students' behavioral and social needs with intentionality and structure. We've learned a lot through this process and we are excited to continue focusing our efforts on increased achievement in all areas of our students. Hi, I'm Jerome Isley and I teach second grade at Hall Kent Elementary. When we began this initiative, I'll have to admit I was a little bit skeptical. I've taught for 17 years and classroom management has always been a strength of mine. But I embraced the growth mindset and I jumped in with two feet. Let me just tell you, it has been one of the most rewarding professional development experiences as an educator that I've ever had. I totally changed up the way that I do classroom management. Now it's more of a positive approach. Students are engaged, they're getting rewards, they have incentives. We have a, a thing that we play, it's called Pass the Positive, and it's a little bitty elephant stuffed animal. And when we notice a student that's being respectful, responsible, and safe, we toss the elephant at that student. That elephant will actually get tossed throughout the room all day long. And at the end of the day, whoever has the elephant last gets a reward. Unlike in the past, where I would focus on what a student shouldn't do, now I and my students focus on what they should do. Hi, I'm Penny Owens, the Behavior Specialist for Homewood City Schools. Teaching our students to be safe, respectful, responsible, and to give their best effort is a critical piece of the Safe and Healthy Homewood model. The idea is that if we want our students' behavior to be predictable, then our routines must be predictable. And if we want our students to be positive and engaged and to treat each other well, then we as educators need to be positive and fully engaged in our craft which means creating lessons that are engaging and relevant for our students. That's what this is all about. The Safe and Healthy Homewood model is not just for our school system, but also for our community. Homewood Parks and Recreation has embraced this common language and created their own set of expectations for their summer campers and their counselors. We at Homewood City Schools are so excited to watch this model grow within our school systems and within our community.